Ania LaSalle Harvest of the Arts Festival Musicanimo involves diverse Bisaya songwriters both in LaSalle University and the regions of Northwestern Mindanao. I conceptualized Musicanimo as a songwriting festival in the area. It was actually inspired by the former LSU Minpap. And it was at the time that the marketing director, Sirio uh, Divaras, um, talked to me of the idea of creating a, a music festival. And suddenly, knowing me, suddenly that idea of, uh, again, creating a platform or a creative playground for, for young artists in the area, suddenly, ting, in my mind. And then, uh, together with, uh, with together with the other team of the culture and arts uh, directors in in the university, Sir Ted, Sir Aldrin, and Sir Rio, we sort of really brainstorm of birthing a, a music festival that La Salle University will organize, will host. And suddenly, I come to that idea that I wanted to create a, a festival, a music festival that is unique that is not just the common, you know, Minpop festival, but it has a name of its own. And then that's when I started that I, we should invite uh, a composer writer, uh, or a singer who can, you know, introduce a, a unique genre that is not so common in the area. And then that's why I started inviting uh, Ma Anchoa of Davao. At the time, I was very strict. Um, you cannot submit entry to Musica Nimo if you have not uh, joined the songwriting workshop. And so I invited Manchoa. She facilitated a, a, a two-day workshop uh, for the young musicians in the area because I wanted to, to create a festival that is not the common thing, beyond the normal, the so-called beyond the normal. Uh, so Manchoa, knowing her kind of music, knowing her genre, which is really quite uh, very Mindanaoan in a sense. So I invited her and, you know, observing, observing the, the, the workshop and how challenged the students were at the time uh, after the, the, the two-day uh, songwriting workshop. I know for a fact that See, Musica Nemo will, will have, will create a name of its own. Uh, however, during that time, we thought that there are, were already, when we made already publicity, there were already inquiries uh, for, for submissions by other, you know, uh, young composers or young singers in the area. But they were not able to attend the, the workshop. So that's when I created an open category. So, so we had two categories. One was for those who really uh, participated in the in the songwriting competition, and one with uh, with the open category. And I didn't really realize that that's how young musicians and composers in the area receive the project. And I was very ambitious. I wanted to challenge them to really produce a music video. Because again, I, I wanted to to create ripples uh, because of this uh, you know music festival. So part of the requirement to the festival was to really submit a music video, and this music video uh, that they are going to share, uh, and that was a time that wow, I was so amazed the the thousands of shares. You know that that uh, you know this music video, and I, you can see how how these young composers, young writers, young musicians really put their heart into it, into the music videos. Through 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 the years, I mean through through it, through the festival, we are able to prove that there is a need for this kind of festival in the area. Because if there is no need, then why would I receive such number of uh, you know uh, submissions? In fact, I, I'll, I'll tell you this: that when we already made the cut off of the the, the submissions, there were already uh, inquiries. You know, especially when they when they saw when we we created the Facebook page of Music Animo, and then people started sharing the music video. It created ripples, and there are a lot of inquiries. Can we still submit? And of course, I do not want to just entertain them because I have rules and guidelines to follow. And I told them, 
um, maybe in the next you know, in the next round of, you know, music anymore, you can submit uh, your, 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 your music, your, your, your composition. I always say that La Salle University is the creative playground of this young artist in the area. Uh, that's why I am very happy that Music Animo will have its second edition this year. And I'm seeing that Music Animo will once again challenge, tickle the minds, tickle the creativity of the young composers in the area. And I believe that uh, Music Animo being the only festival in this area so far, I would, I would be modest, maybe Northwestern Mindanao area, that we already influence other, you know, maybe other institutions to do the same. But in 2019, when we started Music Animo, it has created an effect. I will not mention names, but there were already uh, inquiries from, from other uh, uh, music festivals that if they wanted to cross post the, the songs that are published in the Music Animo page. But uh, I, I, I said that it has to be with the music anymore first because we have an agreement with, uh, with, uh, with the composers that the music videos are uploaded on the music animo page solely for the purposes of the promotion of the festival. And we should not you know, give it to anybody else who would want to ask you know, uh, films because the, we have to protect the rights of, of the composers. I am Felimon Bonita Blanco, the founder of Music Animo, and I am formally turning over the festival management of Music Animo to the LSU Educational and Digital Media Services team headed by Mr. Ted Najan Takan. I am wishing for the second edition of Music Animo that you will again challenge young writers to continue writing, to continue producing songs that are distinctively and uniquely local. Not a copycat from somewhere, but you are sharing your voices with us through the Music Animo. So all the best to the aspiring composers. I am forever Lasalian, Animo Lasal. Music Animal Music Festival